an absolute pleasure to be back at GW Martin. I believe it was about two years ago since I was here last, and things have changed drastically. You've invested in a lot of new machine tools. Absolutely. Well, we're, we're all about continuous investment. So over the last um, five or six years, we've been making quite a few substantial investments in, the, in our facility and in our machine tools. So what you're saying is, in the last two years, some quite major investments of about £2 million in new machines. It's quite a, it's quite a range of machines. What we wanted was the automation. So we're all about um, bring, bring, giving ourselves flexibility, but also getting ourselves improved efficiencies. So reduced cycle times, quick turnarounds for machines so we can change over from one part to the next. So automation is the key thing. And what you can see on some of our, ma our, our main new purchases is, is gantry fed mill turn machines. So the gantry is enabling us to um, produce parts more quickly with, um, and, and frees the operators up to be thinking about planning their next jobs. Would you have been able to be as competitive as you are now if it wasn't for these investments? No, I don't think we would have been. I think we, we're making some quite substantial improvements in our, um, in our competitive ability over the recent years. Um, and I think we've seen a number of our parts, uh, cycle times um, dropping by to about, you know, about two thirds, if not even better improvements through well, some well, of these investments. That, 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 is, that is impressive. Now, what influenced you um, to choose a Spree CAD CAM to drive all of these different machine tools. And I believe there's 14 in total that, it, that, that it's driving and, and maybe across seven different brands. That's right, we have quite a lot of range of brands and that's one of the, one of the features to our investments is to have quite a range of different machines. But we, and, and partly because of that, we felt we needed to get a CAD CAM software um, on board. We, we embarked on something a few years ago, which we found quite a, quite a challenge for a number of reasons and perhaps the business wasn't quite ready for it at the time. What we found, what happened this year is we invested in a new CMZ machine, a TTL, and that came in in the middle of the year. Um, and the critical thing here was it was the, the machine has some capabilities um, are built into it, which almost require it to be programmed offline. It's easier to program offline, um, and we get the, the full benefit of those new features by programming it that way. And that was effectively the catalyst, but all the reasons that we had before were still at play. So it's for us, bringing, introducing CAD CAM and going down um, with a spree was all about getting a, um, was all about programming offline to enable the machines to cut metal more of the time. And about, and it's also about bringing in new machining methods um, to improve our, our reduced swarf, reduced scrap, um, and improve our cycle times. So you mentioned improving efficiencies and, and reducing cost per part, not only from the, the investments in machine tools automation, but as a spree achieved this with the CAD CAM package, and what is it like to actually program that offline? Well, a spree certainly is. And we chose a spree partly because of their, um, their experience in mill turn. And that was a significant difference in the, in the package that we attempted a few years ago. Um, the support we've been having from Esprit has been fantastic. Um, and they've been supporting and rolling it, the rolling out of post processes has been second to none. Um, that's, that's been terrific. In terms of the, the technical questions of that, I think I'm not the best person to really answer that. And the best person I could probably introduce you to is Christian, who's our key chief uh, CAD CAM programmer. Christian, you've been tasked with programming um, Esprit. Um, how have you been finding it? It's very, very good, very user-friendly. Um, started in June with a complete blank slate, clean sheet, uh, 17, 18 machines to program offline, uh, no post-processors, so we started from nothing. Uh, and one of my first things is to, is to prove out the posts one by one on the machines. Um, and it's, yeah, it's a, it's a big learning, massive learning curve because uh, I've not used a spree before. I've used every other system there is. Um, and a spree was basically the only go to package for the type of machines that we have. And in comparison to some of the other packages, what USPs does a spree offer then apart from the, the, the machine tools that it can drive? So the, the, the main, the main one for me is the fact that it works with a thing called a digital twin. So you actually build the machine tool and you use the machine tool with, as you're programming the part simultaneously. All other systems, you program the part and you then go to different uh, packages or different systems to simulate the program. Whereas with Esprit, it's done as a digital package, it's all done simultaneously. 
The beauty of that is if you program a part for a certain machine, be it, let it be a mill or a lathe or a mill turn, and right at the end of the process, due to uh, production, that machine gets changed, you literally swap out the digital twin model within the, 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 uh, the file, and that's it. You just, you just point the software at another machine and another post-processor, and you post the program. And there's no other CAM system that does that. Wow. And that, that is kind of a machine swap feature, isn't it's it? And, lit, and lit artificial that, intelligence. Yeah, 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 absolutely. With just one, two or three clicks. Wow. And you, and you move the, the whole thing from one machine to another. It even does um, patterns. So if you're going from a, a say you do an R&D type part on a machine where you've just got the one component and you then want to go to um, mass production, and you have a machine that's got tombstones and pallets, etc. You literally take the file you've already got, and you tell it, "I want to now put that on these two tombstones, four tombstones, ten tombstones, with about six clicks," and it programs it all automatically. Wow. Is this completely revolutionised and simplified a Pretty process? Much, yes, yeah, and it also it also um, it has the intelligence to update all the tool changes. So no matter how many components are on the table or on the machine setup, it, um, it prioritises the tool changes. So it, it does everything it can do with the first tool, then the second tool comes out, it doesn't do all the tool changes per part. So it's optimising the process it, it, completely? Fully, it fully optimises automatically. And you've got, you, you mentioned 17, 18 machine tools. Yep. They're, they're, they're not all the same type. They're, they're very complex <laughs> machine There's, tools. Yeah. There's, uh, I've got Swiss machines, I've got sliding heads, uh, I've got uh, three, three and four axis mill, I've got Mazax, mill, mainly mill turns, uh, all different controls, all different manufacturers, hmm. so well, it's a lot it's of posts. An absolutely fascinating story, just want to end this interview really uh, Christian, has it been a game changer for GW Martin? Absolutely, um, I think I've, some components I've probably got something like between 60 and 80 percent uh, shorter cycle times uh, and speed, uh, purely from the implication, implementation of tooling, uh, the single point system, and most of all the software. Just doesn't sound real, does it? No. Thanks, Christian. Uh, yeah, thank you.